Hey guys, Fish Cutie here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a two part video series on growing your own brine shrimp, and then the second part will be growing them to adulthood. Now, um, Hatching your own brine shrimp is very inexpensive, very easy, and it's such a nutritious food for your fry. You can feed them to adults as well, but it's really a great baby food. The second part will be basically taking that a step further. I'll be showing you what to feed it, um, showing you how I store it as well. Also, because it's winter here in Australia, we'll be varying our technique a little bit. It's a little bit chillier here, so you'll see what I do differently there. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be taking you through some of the ingredients and equipment we're going to be using today. I just have some iodized salt here. You can use the, the unidized, that's totally fine. I've got some bicarbonate soda here. I just add this to raise the pH. You've just got your air pump here. That's just to create bubbles and circulation. I'm also using ammo lock. I just add this in because it takes away the ammonia. And since we're going to be raising them to adulthood, um, that's just a bit of a concern because they will be uh, fouling up the water a little bit. So we're just getting a jump start on that. I also am using one liter containers. I have two there. All right, I've got the uh, air stone here that just attaches to the pump. Uh, those get inserted into the bottles. Now, if the air stone is not creating bubbles that are large enough, um, you can just detach that there and use the hose to create. The hose will create a larger bubble. Just got a couple of clamps here. That's for later on. So next we have our thermometer. You want to keep the uh, hatching water between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. This just allows for optimum hatching. We have our pipette here, and that just helps you to uh, harvest um, the uh, hatchlings to feed to your fry if you want to do that straight away. We'll also need a net. We're going to be using, using this in part two. I'll get more in depth there. That's just to harvest your adult shrimp. Now you'll need a variety of measurements there. You're gonna need brine shrimp eggs. I went for a 90% um, hatch rate, so that's a really high quality. And also we have some spirulina here that will also feature in part two. We're just gonna feed that to our little uh, friends. So we're just gonna start by uh, adding our salt. We're putting one and a half tablespoons per liter container. Now, it's really important to get the right amount of salt. More is better than less. Um, these brine eggs, they need to be in a salty environment, and so a little bit extra salt is fine if you accidentally tip a bit more in there. Okay, next we have our bicarbonate soda. Now, um, this is just going to make it slightly more alkaline. That's going to make a nice, friendly, nurturing environment for them to uh, hatch in. Okay, so now we've come to our optional ingredient. Um, I'm going to be adding a fourth teaspoon of our ammo lock just to control the ammonia, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, because I'm going to be raising them to adulthood, this just gets the ball rolling on controlling the uh, output of toxins in the water. You can skip this step if you're just going to harvest the, uh, the baby shrimp. Okay, now here comes the exciting part. We're going to add our uh, brine shrimp eggs. Um, just one level teaspoon per liter bottle should be sufficient. Uh, now, just a little note here. Um, the first time I did this, I did not seal the bag completely and um, was very disappointed that it actually ruined my, my batch. So make sure you seal it completely. Otherwise, the remaining eggs, um, the moisture gets in and it just, uh, they won't hatch. You'll be very disappointed. So we're going to put our uh, air stones in. Get that ready there. Okay. Now, here's the setup I have for uh, the beginning of our Australian winter. I've just filled a tub with some warm water. 
Um, you can see I've put my Aquazonic heater in there. I've done a review on that. I love that heater. Um, I've also put a waterproof light. That's an LED light I have in there. I just clamped it all up nice and safely there. So uh, with that warm water, it just helps keep uh, the solution um, at a constant, that 25 to 30 degree uh, range we talked about earlier there. Right, so we're just going to start uh, hooking the tubes up to the pump. Um, I'm going to hook it up and I'm going to just start it on low. That way we, <laughs> it doesn't get splattered everywhere. We can adjust the temperature once we see how it affects the solution and uh, we'll see how the flow is first. There we go. Now you just want to try to get all those, uh, the eggs, sometimes they may stick to the sides. You know, that's all the good stuff there. You want to make sure you push it down gently into the water. Just, it just gives them a chance to hydrate. There you go. And I've just, I've just turned it up slightly. It wasn't quite moving, uh, wasn't circulating as, as good. So just turned it up a bit there. As you can see, all that nice bubble formation. You know, that's about what you want it to look like. You know, bubbles that, that big. Yeah, we had a little blowout there. I went a little bit overboard at one point, but brought it back down to uh, a good speed. All right, so 24 hours later, we have our egg casings up the top, and we have our live brine shrimp down at the bottom. You can see them moving around in there. That's essentially where we're going to harvest from. You harvest from the bottom. Now, the pit pet uh, turned out to be a little bit too short for our con chosen container, so we've just got an empty tube here, um, and you just uh, put your thumb on the end, Put it in, release your thumb, it just sucks it up nicely. Okay, so we have some uh, hungry tetras there in the background. And uh, I think we'll give them a bit of a treat, some live food there. Now, they will chase, they will chase it around the tank for <laughs> probably the next 45 minutes. And uh, it just gives them a bit of sport. Um, it's really good for them. Gets them to uh, move around the tank. Um, just stimulates them and they really love the fresh food. So that was the first step in hatching your own brine shrimp. We're going to come back tomorrow and we'll show you what to do to take it to the next level, grow them to adult stage. Hope you guys had fun. We'll see you tomorrow. If you have any questions about the process, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe up the top. Fish cutie out.